Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jean-Paul. I am today in Victoria Business, where we will present some masterpieces of Giorgio Di Chirico. We are very happy to be in Minsk for first, and with Mrs. Sotinis, who is the owner of uh, the masterpieces we will present through the president, uh, Mr. Lukashenko, here in Minsk. It's a decision that we took my mom and I to be grateful for the country that we love and uh, to say that uh, this um, first time in the world presentation of the uh, plasters of the Kiriko are for us the opportunity to say thanks uh, to the country, to the president, and to say how much we love this country and we want to participate to make uh, know all uh, the greatness of this country through what we have and what it is, uh, the art that we are uh, taking with us. So today, I will let present these masterpieces to my mom, Lisa Sotilis. Uh, as you know, she's a Greek-Italian uh, sculptor, and uh, it's a three years that we are in Minsk doing things, and of course, uh, uh, we wanted to be here with you for the first time with these masterpieces today. I let now uh, the story of the plaster of the Chirico that we can see three of us, um, and uh, we will uh, know more uh, now, to, thanks to Mrs. Sotilis. Uh, can you let me know something quickly? Of course, I'm so happy to be with you. And we just came, just uh, by accident, we were seeing all over the world uh, people to wear masks, and uh, it seemed to me that they were like uh, dogs with masks <laughs> on the faces. So we did not want to have that obligation, and we saw the only country it was here. We were looking and watching and we were seeing beautiful women, very nice things, so we decided to come here. We were, first of all, uh, the only two persons who traveled from Geneva, where we were. In one place. In, yes, and it were the two only people traveling at that time. Right. Yes, because nobody was daring to move. But we have chosen to come here not knowing nothing, just not having obligation of something that we didn't accept to have. So, I came and I am so happy, so happy to be with you, with all of you, and uh, for thanks to the, to the country, first of all, but to the father of the country that holds such a beautiful, quiet, uh, peaceful way of living, and of course that protection, that it's really so absolutely missing in my beloved country of Greece, it will always be my beloved country, but unfortunately today Europe is not like I saw Europe when I was a little child. It has too much change, and the changes are tragical. And the tragedy is that we have no protection and no security, and here I am so happy to walk with all my jewelry that I make, that you see all over. And I don't care, I can walk alone, nobody can touch me, nobody can hurt me. In Europe, seven times I had uh, visits of uh, thieves in my house, I don't want about, uh, I don't want to see the bad things and the negative things. I let them behind my shoulder. So here I absolutely am very thankful for that peaceful way that I have to create. Uh, because art is above everything. And even if people and the political people all over, they are against that area. Myself, I am really very happy and very grateful because this area really makes me feel so relaxing and so full of uh, freedom to dream. And when you dream, you can create. If you have destroyed your dreams or somebody does not allow you to have your dreams because you don't have peace of security to dream, and then you are a lost person. And an artist is always a dreamer. Before dreaming and after dreaming you can create. So I'm thankful here for the president that makes me feel so relaxed. And this is the reason also that I wanted to thank the country and we gave for the birthday of your fantastic president on the 30th of August, a masterpiece of the Kiriko was absolutely given as a gift to your country through your incredible president that we all love, like you, and maybe more than you, because we have decided to do like that, and it is our choice. We did not found, find it like we discovered it. But sometimes when you are born in a situation, you don't even realize what is happening outside. But ourselves, that we are from out and here, and on the top we are artists, because also my son is, even if he never I mean, uh, did his uh, gift 
he never exploded his gift with his voice, but myself really, I could not dream better in such a nicer place that I have full of freedom and security. I know that nobody will touch and hurt me. So thanks to all of you because of the love that you give me and you, per you permit also you give us, you allow us to give back our love too. Our love above everything because art is eternal and money are absolutely meant to be used for beautiful and eternal things, not only for destroying things. So art is above everything and I am very happy to belong to that and to be with you. I am see that uh, the presentation and uh, your happiness to be in Bielorussia is uh, very deep and uh, I share with you uh, this happiness to be in uh, Bielorussia. And I come back to our masterpieces. It's why we decided to bring our masterpieces. And why, Mrs. Sotilis, you decided, not the reason to be in Minsk, because we understand that you adore Minsk, but why you decided only now to show to all over the world these masterpieces. Why now and not in Europe before, 10 years before, 30 years before? It is your reason that you decided to show in all over the world this year. First of all, I never thought to show them, because usually the plasters are the models. And the models you don't have to show, you see the, you show the result. And the result are the bronzes that they have been shown all over. All over, I mean, since ever. But of course, those plasters have a particular story that came out in every place globally in all countries in this world because of the visit of our first lady to the United States, to the first lady and to the White House, a couple of months ago, something like that. And the first lady was wearing a piece of mine, of my unique uh, sculptures, one of the kind that I have been all my life creating. And it was uh, such an incredible magnetism of curiosity that uh, that piece, this is the proof of what miracle the art can do, even from one little thing. And uh, all over the countries, they were curious to know about the creator when they discovered it was me. And as I have been working a lot since I was a very little child, I have written a history all over. So everybody began to do my biography. And everybody um, discovered that that it was an incredible um, geniality of a project, of a very, very um, incredibly important and precious project that the big Alexander Riolas it is world known in all the museums because he created the top people and artists of the 20th century. And he took them in his cast, in his group, like Lorenzo il Magnifico that had his uh, court. And he took all the best artists that they remained the better of the 20th century. And myself, I was very lucky because I was presented like enfant prodige. I don't know how to translate it in English. Anyway, the, the special, uh, young uh, persons that they are over gifted and they do special things they call them prodigio and so the museums uh, the museum of uh, berlin presented me like an enfant prodigio on my first exhibition that i found myself just by luck because i had the courage to send all over pieces of myself without even thinking if they would have been accepted or not I discovered not only they were accepted, they were also awarded and everything. I found myself in the Museum of Berlin and famous Dr. Janusz presented me and there I knew that famous Alexander Jolas because of the city of Berlin was full of my uh, Hippolytos that I had big, big, big affiche done all over in, in different sizes. And so my first uh, uh, trip in my first museum, just by luck like that, I found myself also to be part of the cast of the monstrous of the century of the, of, uh, of uh, Yolas, Alexander Yolas. And now, through this thing in White House, they discovered, and they are all talking about this famous project and deal for art that Yolas, Alexander, did with all the top artists that he had himself also in his hands, the Kiriko, I mean, uh, Dali, and the Warhol, he discovered that the Warhol was doing shoes. Maxens, Magritte, I'm talking madam, of top, top, top artists of century, of 20th century. And I was the Benjamin, the, this, the youngest. 
but they all loved me because of my character. I was always full of enthusiasm and uh, very spontaneous and absolutely I was never tired. Always I had an excitement that this excitement and the dreams that I always have and I'm overexcited, they make me not feel tired. And as I do many things, I have another luck. And if I am tired from one thing that I do, I can jump from painting to wall paintings to uh, furniture, uh, to wood uh, things, uh, to objects, uh, to sculptures, to, to jewelry, of course, and everything. And this is my luck of my character. I am uh, full of, uh, of uh, not so perfect things. I'm not a perfect person. I'm not a normal person, but I'm very happy like I am. And I do what I, I really am happy to do. And I give to people. And I'm very happy that after when I will fly, there are things that they will, flying around the people in the earth, that they will remember me. So this is the situation of this uh, project of those masterpieces, but details about them, historical details, you have to wait until your beautiful president is going to open up the exhibition in the next couple of weeks. We will let you know where exactly. And uh, at that occasion, it will be enough explanation for also the details of that purposes. And those usually, they are, not, they are not used to be shown, but as it it is masterpieces that they regard the creator, that is genius of the 20th century, the master de Chirico, the, the head of surrealistic people and everything. And I will tell you one anecdote and I will close. First time that I met the famous Magritte, that I talked to him and I said, master, because I was full of respect and uh, excitement. He said to me, oh no, I will tell it in, um, in French, because he spoke in French. Oh, je vous en prie, je ne mérite pas ça. Il n'y a qu'une seule personne, un seul être, vraiment qu'il mérite ça, que c'est le grand maître de Kirik. Il est grand, il est the famous, the big ma master of Magritte. He said to me, oh, I don't deserve, nobody can deserve that incredible word of master. There is only one human being in all the planet in this century. And this is the big master, George de Quirico. You can imagine, the big Magritte said that to me. So to show you how big is art and creativity of artists. I'm grateful for everything. I have nothing to say more. We will wait the next uh, interview before um, the opening events that we will have for these plasters that uh, are more than 16 plasters and we will have 33 sculptures of uh, Madame Sotilis, uh, the Maestro Sotilis. So thanks for everybody for your attention and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.